So today I want to talk to you guys about the Polar Pro Director's Kit and reasons why you should buy it and one big major thing why you shouldn't. So once you open this box you get this really nice pouch which is very durable but I don't use it since I have a camera bag so I don't really use it that much but uh, what's included inside is you have these really nice filters that come with the director's kit. Only with the director's kit uh, and on the website they showcase free filters, also the gold morphic but do know that these packages only include the mist filter and the blue morphic filter so be aware of when you buy it you don't get the gold morphic filter that's a standalone filter you can buy for like a hundred dollars extra so be aware of that before you buy this but what you do get with it is these two filters which are incredibly nice i do have to say i haven't come across any better ones uh, these are just incredibly helpful i'll pull up some footage on screen uh, where i use these filters in in some scenarios i mostly use the mist filter i don't really use the blue morphic filter as much it it has a really nice style but a style that i don't use very often it could be used at times but uh, yeah, so the filter actually looks like this, it has like these lines across, which basically causes the effect. Uh, I don't exactly n uh, know in depth how it works, but it gives like this anamorphic flare effect, which you can't really get on a digital camera unless you use filters or specific lenses. Um, so that's nice to have, so you don't have to buy a lens. Along these filters, you also, of course, get uh, an ND filter, which is also advertised. And this is also one of the best ND filters I've come across. This ND filter also goes from three stops all the way to 6.5, I think. Okay. But uh, I do know that the six and a half stop, uh, which goes past the red line, is only for when you use like a telephoto lens above 35, I think. If you uh, go below that, you will see some vignetting. So you're most likely thinking, now, okay, this is just a set of an ND and a few filters, but what makes this worth the $500 price mark to some, to some people? Because this shit is still expensive. Uh, if you are just getting by and are looking to buy this, don't buy it because it's not really that, that big of a deal. But it's nice to have. Uh, the cool thing about this is that these filters are clickable. So you don't have to screw in filters, screw them out. You, you can just pop them right in. Like that, and you're done. So you just put these in your bag and you can swap them up really easily by just clicking them. That's really nice to have. I mean, the thing about this is it's, it's a really nice solid package, but why would it be worth $500? It's a solid filter, it's nice filters, and it got this nice matte box, but I wouldn't see why you wouldn't get another filter. Because a friend of mine lately mentioned, this is the one big downside of this thing, is this is all really nice, but there are only a few filters. You have this blue morphic filter, you have a gold morphic filter, and you have the mist filter. But there's not a polarizer. So a few weeks back we went out in to shoot a uh, car commercial. And usually for this you would be using uh, polarizer filters. But we didn't have any of them and even if we had it wouldn't fit on a matte box. So we couldn't use the ND filter and a polarizer all at once. Otherwise we would have to buy another filter set. Um, but then again, guess what? Um, then the stackable filters don't mean anything anymore because you can't use them. Every upside has its downsides and I think this one is a major one because even if you do want to use another filter with another ND filter because guess what you can't combine them then you're still stuck at the same place. So if anyone that works at Polar Pro watches this video um, if you could add polarizers to the filter set it would be great because now I am stuck with some shoots because I now can't use my ND, I can't use my other filters, I can't use the matte box because the other filters that are provided uh, on the side of Polar Pro don't uh, fit with the matte box either. So when, if you do want to use another filter, you can't use the matte box anymore. So it becomes obsolete. So you can only use the recon filters with the recon system and you can't use it for anything else. Just to rephrase really quickly, it is a nice set. If you have the money, you can buy it. It has some really nice filters. You can't get any better filters. They are the best, uh, in my opinion, but um, you limit yourself in some capacity, even though it's supposed to remove those, because then again, there are not many filters there yet. I don't know if they will add them, and if they do, uh, that would be nice, but that's still uncertain. <laughs> 